Hello everyone, very excited to be back here in the Nanaimo Shaw studio for the first time in a very long time and even more excited to be here to talk about uh, music. You've probably noticed that live music events are starting to happen with a bit more frequency and regularity now and we've brought in a repeat guest to the studio here to tell us about the return of a summer music series in Nanaimo's Old City Quarter. Very happy to chat with a series organizer and a darn fine percussionist, uh, composer, musician, uh, band leader all in his own right, James McRae. James, welcome back to Shaw. Matt, thank you. It's great to be here. It's really fun to see you and reconnect with you. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. So live music is happening again. You know, it's sort of kind of just like exploded in, uh, you know, March, April. It's just like a profusion of uh, live performances happening. And the beautiful thing about this is it's all free shows and it's all outdoors. So, you know, and it's a, a wide variety of music. It's uh, I think it's going to be really a lot of fun and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the music myself. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, before we get to uh, that um, series, you mentioned uh, uh, gigs starting to happen more back in March, April. So with the uh, Nanaimo International Jazz Fest Association, uh, just produced a series of uh, concerts at the Shaw Auditorium. Uh, jazz Focus, tell us how those went. Yeah, that was, that, that was awesome, actually. There had been some changes to the Shaw Auditorium that uh, Andrew Homsey had kind of tried to initiate uh, maybe about five years ago, and uh, they were put in place. So the Pony Wall has been removed, the lighting, the ambience was much nicer. There's a curtain hiding the city council uh, tables and that. Um, it's just actually, it's a really nice room. It seats about 200 people. And so there was 11 different acts that happened, um, March 26th, I think, until the end of April on International Jazz Day, uh, April 30th, when Phil Dwyer played with the group. And it was, they were all really well attended, uh, maybe over 100 people in the, in the auditorium and uh, really well received. People, people really loved it. And I think it was just an opportunity for people to get out and listen to live music again, which, is, uh, which has been really missing for the last couple of years. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you hear a great response from the audience. Uh, what about the musicians? How are they uh, responding to getting calls for gigs again? I think it, I think most of them are just kind of going with the flow, you know, maybe some of them being a little bit overwhelmed because they haven't been able to get together and play music with uh, other people. And now it's happening like just like exactly opposite. So there's a lot of uh, happiness and joy that is being spread around in the musical community, I think. Uh, and yeah, I think people are happy to be back playing music and listening to live music. So I think it's a win win for the musicians and for anyone who's interested in, in live music, so yeah. Awesome, all yeah. right, well, let's continue on here uh, talking a little bit about, again, the Sounds of Summer concert series that's upcoming here. Sure. Uh, you mentioned a little bit earlier ago that it's, um, it's gonna be a big mix of genres, so obviously jazz focused for that series at the Shaw Auditorium, but I gather we're going to see or hear a number of different genres taking place at the this yeah at the old city quarter yeah so really the mandate you know they just would like people to come down and enjoy the experience and as you know like popular music and has a lot of there's a lot of different types of music that uh, exist in the world as a musician you know I don't really care for the categorization of music however you know it helps people to sort of get a bit of an idea so the variety in this uh, 16 uh, performances is really it's quite diverse from classical to jazz and country and rhythm and blues and and uh, yeah one thing I tried to get was spoken word uh, but I didn't hear back from some of the artists that I reached out to I've tried to include uh, a, a whole different uh, list of musicians that have never played the perform uh, or the old city quarter music series before um, and I've largely been successful so yeah. Even, even though the spoken word artists were largely unspoken. They did not <laughs> get back to me and talk to me. That's right. Exactly. All right, well, the challenge is out there to the that's Poets Words right. next year. Get you on that's here. Right. So, that's right. Yeah. I should probably just uh, say, too, again, the Sounds of uh, Summer Old City Quarter Music Series. Uh, we'll get into the specifics here shortly, but generally uh, Friday's afternoon uh, 12 series. 12 to 1. 12 to 1, and starting yeah. in June and going all the way till mid-September. Every Friday beginning on June 3rd and going till September 16th with the last performance being a special two hour performance which happens at the old train station. So that's on the poster it says the station. And it's, re yeah, it's where the black rabbit and the white rabbit is. They've named their venue after the uh, indigenous wildlife in the area. Ah, okay, yes. so if you see black rabbits or white rabbits around, 
They named the restaurant uh, at the station after the rabbits. Yep, no splitting hairs there with those names. <laughs> All right, uh, I also want to, gotta throw a pun in now back on TV, right? Uh, we also want to mention too the lineup, not only a variety of genres, but you've got uh, some really established pro musicians and also some younger musicians there as well. Why was it important to you to have some younger musicians, some up and comers on the lineup? You know, I would really like to have more young musicians performing in the series. And I reached out to a couple of individuals in particular, Josh Holloway and and Bua, uh, who are really phenomenal singers, and they were unable to do the series because they're working on Friday, and they weren't prepared just to take the time off to do this special one-hour performance. So maybe I can convince them next year. Uh, I did manage to convince Michaela Toom to do the performance, and there's a, there's a, actually a bunch of younger people, Elise Boulanger, uh, her group. Uh, I think a lot of the, you know, Emerald Specks and Kendall Patrick. Uh, there, there's a real mix in terms of age uh, of the musicians and yeah uh, it's nice to have variety and it's nice to have uh, a wide variety of, of all genres and all age groups and that's kind of you know an unspoken mandate of mine <laughs> Yeah. Right, so I'm going to play a little game with you here right about now. Awesome. So again, we've met 16 <laughs> artists, so I'd love to go in depth with all of them. But instead, because we're limited time, I'm going to quickly run down the names. And okay. James, I'm going to challenge you to give me sort of a, either a cool fact or a little description of each artist as we go by. So okay. It's I know good. They have, that's going to be challenging. It will. But yeah. I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. The crew in the control room's got the timer on. So <laughs> okay. all right, here we go. Starting in June, uh, June 3rd, we have the Shinolas. New Orleans flavor, original music by some people that have just moved to Nanaimo. Recent, except for Colin Stevenson, who's been here for a longer period of time. <laughs> All right, June 10th, Emerald Specks and Kendall Patrick. Uh, a couple of singer-songwriter friends who are really great uh, singers and songwriters, and I'm really excited that they're performing. Uh, June 17th, we have Jerry Barnum. Jerry is like the soulful dude that's playing with Mark Christinger, one of the well-known blues musicians in the community. And it's a trio. I don't know who the other person is, the group. I'm looking forward to hearing them. I love a good surprise. June 24th, we have Bijou de Bayo. Yeah, Saint Baptiste Day. And I tried to get some kind of French influence group. And Tom Neville is a bit of a Cajun fiddle player. Him and his friends from Duncan, Bijou de Bayou, are going to be performing on Saint Baptiste Day, June right. 24th. All right. Uh, July 2nd, Andrew Homsey's Bumbleberry Jazz Jam. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Jazz Jam is, uh, but <laughs> it's a big lineup, and I'm sure it'll be fun because Andrew is really a colorful and entertaining character, so I don't know who's awesome. in the group. He did ask me. I might be performing. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the pace here. July 8th, Woodley Range Band. Uh, from my friend Nick Docker, he told me he was playing and having fun with this uh, group of guys that play country music. I said, hey, would they be interested? So it's a country-influenced uh, group of guys that I don't know, other than the drummer who may or may not be playing with them. All right, July 15th, Elise, Elise Boulanger. Yes, Elise is like some kind of, I believe, and I've only seen her perform once a long time ago, and I got a little bit of a Kate Bush vibe from her. She is an original uh, singer, or well, there's a very amazing singer, like, you know, uh, operatic or classical trained, and she's playing with some friends of mine, Anatole, I believe, Natasha Hoskins and someone else I don't know. So. All right, uh, July 22nd, we're looking at uh, Hard Times with Lady Phil. Yeah, so they played at the live at the Shaw Auditorium series in April, and what happened was the guitar player, the main character, Matt Asen, uh, was not able to perform, but I'm hoping Matt will be on this show. It's a five piece and uh, with a singer from Victoria, Lady Phil. Uh, it's fairly soulful, lo fi is one of the words that's used. It's a young group of players, they're all phenomenal musicians, and I highly recommend all of these bands, actually. <laughs> exactly, I know. All right, so we're starting to run out of time here, so we're going to quickly get through the rest of them. All right, give me a quick note in each one. Uh, July 29th, uh, Cosmo Bushikin Quartet featuring Tasha Adams. Yeah, some really young players who are really, really aspiring to some great jazz, and that's what that is. All yeah. right, August 5th, Road Poets. So that's a well-known uh, CHLY DJ, Dave Tykrobe, uh, doing his own hybrid music. Awesome. August 12th, the return of The Mac. Yeah, that is a couple of friends.
friends of mine, Hamish McDonald and Marty Steele and Claudio Fantinato, who some of the people know, uh, they're doing a kind of a rhythm and blues original music uh, thing. So. August 19th, uh, Michaela Toom with Friends. Yeah, Michaela is a singer-songwriter, a really soulful singer, uh, writes great songs, and she's got some of the local musicians in her group, Nico Rhodes, Brad Shipley, Al Murray. Um, yeah, it should be fun. This kind of speaks for itself. August 26th, the Harbor City String Quartet. Yes, it is indeed a classical string quartet uh, with uh, James Mark and uh, Carl Rayner, and I'm not sure who else is in the group, but yeah, if you love classical music, I highly recommend it. Awesome. All right, got three to go here into September. September 2nd, Duncan Simmons. Duncan is playing with uh, Tina Jones, Pierre Coleman, Phil Whipper, and James Starling. I'm sure the group will be stellar, and it'll be some kind of New Orleans-influenced uh, rhythm and blues kind of vibe. All right, September 9th, The Big Mess. The Big Mess, yeah, they're a big mess. They're like a, two people, <laughs> but they're a big mess. It's like Kyle and Marty Shepard. They're well-known street performers down in the harbor, and, and it's always fun when they play, so. Awesome. All right, and finishing off, September 16th, Chris Noel and The Burning House. Yeah, so Chris is relatively new on the scene, lives in Ladysmith, but he's got a bunch of local players and he's doing a big uh, Joe Turner, which is kind of like a jump swing kind of music, you know, like 40s R&B prior to the advent of rock and roll. Beautiful, all right. So now a big round of applause, everyone here for James for getting hey, through thanks. those. 16 yeah, artists too, just like that, so yeah, well, I, I, just, I just read it, oh, whatever, easy, easy for me. All right, so James, uh, just about a minute here to quickly wrap up, but first, um, organizing a concert series, booking the artists, as you talked about, can be a challenge. It's a lot of work uh, getting the venues lined up. Yeah. Uh, why is it important for you to do all that and provide music for the community? Well, it's fun, and I actually, I really, you know, I've never been asked to do this before, and I'm actually fairly well connected in the community. I know a lot of musicians, and I would really love to give everybody an opportunity to perform. And so the Old City Quarter, you know, they basically would like the series to continue, and they've asked me to continue, and I'm excited to be doing it here again this year. And uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of really interesting things. I mean. You know, there's, there's new uh, stores at the Old City Quarter that were not there a couple of years ago. For people who haven't got out, I highly recommend they go down and just sort of check out the environment. So the Old City Quarter is, you know, Fitzwilliam in between Shelby and Wallace Street, and then between Franklin and uh, Fitzwilliam. Uh, and it just brings some different energy to the city to have live music in an outdoor environment. So I think it's really, I've enjoyed the process I've enjoyed being asked and they do give me some money to do this as well so it's kind of like a win-win on a whole lot of levels yeah. and it's super fun <laughs> to be able to phone a musician up and say hey do you want to do a gig you know because they haven't had that for the last few years yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. really fun too well so, Jane yeah. I gotta yeah. say uh, you talk about bringing energy you bring a lot of energy you've brought it to the studio today we thank you for that and thank you for all your work putting this together uh, it means a lot to have uh, music being brought back to, yeah. brought to the city. So. Yeah, thanks, Matt. And thanks to Shaw to opening up the studio and having a live interview. Uh, you know, I think we need to be uh, getting back to normal as much as we're capable of doing that, you know, based on people's comfort level, right? So I'm really happy that I got asked, and I'm really happy to talk about the Old City Quarter. Sounds of summer in the Old City Quarter. So thank you for having me. Awesome. Thanks so much, James. Once again, everyone, uh, the Sounds of Summer Old City Quarter music series. Uh, for more information on the series, do check out oldcityquarter.com and nanaimojazzfest.ca, taking place again from June until mid-September. Thank you so much, James, again, for joining us. Thank you so much.